we need that adults and people who have the biggest power on decisions to actually listen to what we have to say and to actually take into consideration our opinions because most of the, of the times and what I've seen in my community is that they create these spaces for young people but they don't actually care about what we have to say. I have always seen the world as a play that has left women, girls, and adolescents behind. The place where I grew up, Monterrey, Mexico, it's a patriarchal society. Before the pandemic, it was my last high school year, and sexual harassment cases were a big issue on Monterrey. My friends and I decided to create a protest in order to write your aggressor's name on the mirror of the restroom. It became really popular after we mobilized and created this protest, the institution took action and created this protocol in order to attend the sexual harassment cases. It makes me proud and also at times when burnout is really big and, and I don't want to keep mobilizing because being an activist is really hard. But going back to these moments in which girls, adolescents and other people have thanked me and have been grateful for creating these spaces really motivates me to keep being an activist. By being part of Ground Like a Girl initiative, I'm able to also give other girls from other regions of the world the same opportunities that I have had. Because money shouldn't be a barrier in order to access to these spaces and to these activities and these kind of projects. You need to have this grant in order to keep impacting the lives of girls, adolescents, and gender non-conforming people. The process basically getting to know the necessities of girls in a specific regions and then we work in small groups of people in order to review specific proposals and to discuss what we think about them and we collectively decide if they are given a grant or not. My message to everyone attending DevOx World is to be open-minded, to actually listen to girls, young people, because we have a lot to say.